Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video today, let's have some nabe, Japanese hotpot. So here are some of the things I got. Leek, chicken thighs, carrots, tofu, mushrooms. These are called enoki mushrooms and some Chinese cabbage. These are really convenient because it's been cut into one fourth. It's really convenient for people who are living alone because um, if you're living alone, it's really hard to finish one whole cabbage. So um, yeah, I normally buy these one fourth ones. And some fried tofu. All right, let's get started. The reason why I decided to show you this video is because this winter I've been having nabe literally every day. And the reason why is because, as I'll show you, you just need to cut up the ingredients and put it in the pot and just leave it until it gets cooked. So that's why nabe is my go-to after I finish work late in the evening. And in Japan, you can get these like nabe soup in supermarkets. And the ones I like are these cubed ones. So I have three flavors of these. and another one yeah four flavors actually so i have four of these flavors and what i like about these is that it's good for just one person and you can also get these like a liter worth of soup for three to four people but these are quite heavy to carry them home and these are just like literally just cubes as i'll show you later that's why i prefer these this one's grilled garlic hot pot sauce and this one's kimchi this one is Chinese like white soup and this one is red bream and scallop soup oh my god as you guys know I like scallops a lot so I've decided to go for this one and let's open it up it looks like this and if you open it it's literally just like a cube of stock so you put that in and you add 180 ml of water for one person so if you're having this with two people then you can just add like two cubes of these and put um, 360 ml of water or if you're having this with three people then you know you just need to multiply by three let's get the hot pot going i'm so hungry all right so let's turn this thing on so this pot is actually a pressure cooker but it also has a hot pot mode so i normally use this or when I'm feeling more lazy, then I just like, because this is quite big to wash, I use a smaller pot and just like cook it on the hob. Literally put everything in the pot and let it boil for a few minutes and yeah, just eat the whole thing. It's very, very easy. So let me cut up the veg first. With enoki mushrooms, if you take out the mushroom from the bag before you cut it, um, it kind of becomes all separated and really hard to deal with. So you can just cut with the bag on, like so. And I think the whole pack is a bit too much for me, so I'm just gonna cut it in half and that could be my meal for tomorrow. So in the instructions, they tell you to put the ingredients after the water has been boiled, but I'm lazy and I can't wait, so I just, you know, add my ingredients before it starts boiling. Maybe half a carrot? Um, let me just go wash all of these. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna add um, carrots first because they take longer to cook. I don't know about you, but um, I don't peel carrots bigger. I don't know. Leek. Leeks are called negi in Japanese and I like to cut it diagonally like this. I think most Japanese people do that, especially nabe. You know what, I'm kneeling on the floor and the table is not high enough for me to cut these veg up. <laughs> And I like the white part rather than the green part. We still eat the green part, but the white part is the nice and soft side. So I normally just like mix mix it up. Oh, that's, that's a big piece. Yeah, so I normally mix it up and separate it into two. And that's going into the nabe for today. There we go. And that's gonna be going into the fridge. Okay, we're gonna go for fried tofu. 
Oh, actually, let's go with Chinese cabbage. Mm, it's smelling really good now. I'm so excited to have all of this. Even though I have it every day, don't say that. I think the good thing is that you cut them up like that first and then cut them up. Um, but normally I can't be bothered, so I just like use bit by bit from the top here. Yeah, but this part's the best part, so today I'm having the best part. Just like cut it up like so. In you go. There we go. Oops. No. Now, tofu. Oh, there's two inside. So I'm gonna have one today. These are really good because um, they're really good at like soaking up all the soup. So when you bite into them, the juice comes out in your mouth. And what I need in my nabe is tofu. When I don't have tofu in my fridge, I get kind of anxious. That's how much I want tofu in my nabe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! I made a big mess, but that's classic Sarah. Oh well. Oops. And also, you know how there's like silken tofu and firm tofu? I prefer firm tofu in my nabe. Yay, just like cut them up in your palms, gently. Don't cut your hand. Okay, in you go. Yeah, oh my god, that looks so nice. Yes. Oh, oh, I forgot to put some meat inside. So in Japan, you can get these like cut up meat that's only 161 grams so that's quite convenient for just like a meal of nabe and it's good because this thing is cut up right so you can literally just open the packet and dump it inside how easy you don't even need to cut it there we go yes oh my god that looks so good for everything to be cooked nicely and evenly i'm gonna put the lid on yeah before doing that, I need to make sure that the meat is covered in the soup. Let's just wait for it. What I normally do is that I cut two batches in one go so that next time I have nabe, I literally just need to dump the whole thing into the soup. And next time I won't even need to cut up anything and like, you know, dirty these cutting boards and knives and stuff. So I normally just keep these. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it's hot. Oh no. Ooh. When I was cooking the ingredients, I had the heat to maximum and now I've turned it down to just like simmer. Mm, look at the tofu! Mm, you guys, the nabe is ready! Oh my god, it smells so nice and I'm so hungry. Let's dig into it. Mm, what should I start with? Maybe, oh, I'll go with the meat. Actually, these are really, really hot, so I'm gonna rescue these ingredients into my bowl and let them cool down for a bit because I can't eat it straight from the pot. Some Chinese cabbage, some carrots. With the ingredients, really, I just went with the recommendations on the packaging, but you can add anything you like, to be honest. You can, I sometimes do cabbage, some pork, fish even. So yeah, it's really up to your preference. You can customize it however way you want. Okay, so let me have the meat. I hope it's not too hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There's a lot of umami in the soup and the soup got transferred into the chicken. It is so nice. It tastes really, really nice. What's great about nabe is that because these ingredients are really hot um, and with Japanese houses, we don't have central heating. So inside the house, it's normally cold unless you turn the actual heating on. So when you're in a cold room and you have this really, really piping hot nabe, it really warms up your body. So that's why I prefer eating nabe in the winter, especially. And also what's good about it is that you get so much veg inside and because it gets cooked down, um, you can really have a lot of voluminous veg in one go. Mmm, that's the enoki mushroom, very crunchy, some leek, oh look at that, it looks so soft, it's been cooked down well. Mmm, I'm usually not a massive leek person, but when it's in nabe, I love leek, I can't do nabe without leek. Mmm, ooh, let me have the tofu. You see, when it gets cooked in soup, it becomes so wobbly. But the problem is that these things can get really hot, so normally I break them down into smaller pieces oh. and eat them. Oh, oh, it looks hot. 
Mmm. That's so soft and nice. And let's go with these fried tofu. Oh. Mmm. Mm. The fried tofu itself is just okay. But like I said, the juice really comes out in your mouth uh, when you bite into it. It's so nice. Mmm. Gonna have some more chicken! Chicken, yes! Oh, okay, hot. Mm. Mm. Normally, I use those cubes dashi because they're a lot easier, but in the past, I've made my own soup using like soy sauce and dashi or you know, kimchi if you want to make kimchi hot pot. So, I'll put the recipe in the description box down below in case you want to make it in your own country. And I really hope that you do because it really warms up your body and soul. That was a horrible eyebrow wiggle. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the nabe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give it that thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and foods and culture. Bye! Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Tokyo Foodie Sarah. What? <laughs> my ear cock fell off. But it also has a pop. Maybe half an on Maybe half an. <laughs> the soup literally just like. You know, I was gonna say flirt in your mouth, but that's a bit inappropriate. It really warms up your ball, ball. <laughs>